I got caught in some serious pea soup fog and I am so happy I had radar. It gave me tons of confidence. So I'll, I'll show kind of how I was using the radar. I'll kind of walk through a little bit of that. There they are. I'm not a Simrad expert. I'm not a radar expert, but I can show how I did it and what gave me confidence to go in that pea soup. Obviously, it's a beautiful Southwest Florida day right now, but just an hour ago, it didn't look like this at all. In fact, even being in the canal, I'd have been freaked out without radar. Definitely got a morning made for radar. Glad I have it. Definitely used it. This is pretty cool. I had to put this on film. There's my, my bait pot is right there. I dropped the number on it and you can see it here on the radar. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's so flat out here. I could see my weight coming through on the radar as well. But that's my, that's my buoy in the water. There they are. Pretty cool. See the island ends right there. And one, two, three. One, two, three. Look at that. Pretty cool. I saw all those guys coming and was able to know if I have enough room and kind of get over. Everybody's going slow here so far. This is a pretty congested area normally. First time I've been out in this fog, and I got to tell you, uh, props to Dave Russo, Fish Tales, for telling me you're going to want to get radar. I would not be out here. And I'm having a, a pretty cool day using my, my boat. Definitely not a toy. Um, that, is a, that is some serious safety equipment I have there. So I'm really gaining some confidence in my in my radar. This isn't a situation where I would want to go out in, in this. I, that's not who I am. I, I'm, not, I'm not a risk taker. I, I wouldn't have gone out if I knew it was this pea soup. But I got all the way out to where I want to be, playing around fishing and having a fun time. And then this thick fog just rolls in. And I feel safe now that I can get home in it. So. Thing's amazing. Okay, they don't got radar, they don't got radar. They're probably wondering why I'm going this speed, but I can see them. And they said I can see them pretty easy. So I don't want to take it for granted. But I'm getting a lot of confidence here. Alright, made it to the no way. That would have been a lot different ride back to the miserable mile if I didn't have this this radar. This is a, a Simrad. It's pretty amazing. So I don't know if the camera will pick it up. There's a boat right there. That's my edge of my distance that I can see, and that's right there. So instead of there being two poles like here, there's three dots, and there he is right there. It looks like that's police or, or tow. Not sure. Well, they're gonna have a busy day today, I got a feeling. If you don't have this kind of chip and this kind of radar, you should not be out here. This is not uh, rental boat conditions. I'm on the water all the time, and this is definitely the limit of what I wanna do. Boys in blue. Props to the boys in blue. Keeping us safe. All right, here's another boat right on the edge. I'm gonna, since I'm in no way, I'm gonna go eighth of a mile. So look at look at how that guy's showing up right there. He's right here. And he's right there. I can see him easy, but I'd say eighth of a mile is about our level of visibility right now. In conditions like this, it's really easy to overcorrect. I'm going slow. This is called the miserable mile in Southwest Florida here. I'm about halfway through it. I just want to stay to the left of that green buoy. Now, under normal conditions, I'd see that buoy, but I can't now. And so, obviously you can see the island. I know where I am here a lot. Here comes a couple boats in the fog. They're gonna start showing up right here. So that's pretty cool. Here they are. So they're an eighth of a mile away. That's my eighth of a mile ring. And there, that's what they look like. Here, here comes another one. Yep, there, there's a few boats there. 
pretty cool. But you don't want to overcorrect. I know it's real shallow off to my starboard side right here. I don't want to get over there. I want to be over this side. Yeah. I didn't want to stay in. There's three boats there because I couldn't see the, the third. But my radar did pick it up. Putting in time like this and really being thoughtful about what I'm looking at, I'm doing that because I want to learn. I want to get so comfortable that it's just second nature to look at these, these gauges and trust them. What I did to, to get ready for a day like this was I ran my radar a lot and I just wanted to see what does that signpost look like? What does this little skinny island here, see how it, it's real low. I don't think that's an alligator, but it kind of looks like one. Anyway, it's real low right here. So what does that look like here? You can't, you can't quite see the whole thing. So I want to know in my head, I want to match these two up. Think about what is it really? You only see that that image isn't perfect. It's really close though, I got to say. And that radar isn't perfect. They both have delays on them. The tide right now is different with the picture. Pretty comfortable with my settings, but I really dialed that in on land. So I could see things a half mile away, play around with my instrumentation, play around with my settings and see, okay, that's what that looks like. So here we've got a, a stick sticking out. We've got a, a marker buoy. We've got the point. And that doesn't look like everything, right? What the heck is that? That's all me. Get your lights on, slow down. They got their lights on. That's great. They got their lights on. I'm no safety cop out here. I'll, I'll let the police do their job, but you know, lights on, go slow, be safe. This is supposed to be fun out here. We work our butts off all week to go out and do this on a Sunday. Let's not screw it up. Hey, how are you? Now? I don't know what that guy was saying. I think he was, I think he was appreciating the Rabalo 266 Cayman. It's a no wake, but just like when you're at a traffic light or something, I don't trust that everybody knows that or sees that. You know, I, I'm, I'm on the lookout right now for someone to come flying through here thinking that they're, they've got, maybe they got radar and they're overconfident. I got radar and I'm still underconfident and that's, that's how I want to be. I'm good with that. So, really, really cool day. I'm super, I'm super happy. I'm going to kick this off with the tequila seltzer passion fruit. Shout out to my homie Sam for turning me on to these things. I don't know what passion fruit tastes like. I don't even think that's a real fruit. Nice pop. I mean passion fruit, right? what is it? I grew up in Minnesota and I guarantee you they didn't have passion fruit up there. Maybe they do now. Our grocery store was Cub Foods. They did not have passion fruit up there. This is new to me. I'll tell you one thing I like about it is it's ice cold. It's weird how it went from foggy pea soup to just blasting sun. I mean, I don't even have lotion on. <laughs> I was thinking about that. I was like, I didn't put lotion on. I was just going to run out and run back and then to get caught in pea soup. Anyhow.